What's going on, people? This is Timony. We are back with season two, episode two of Young, Famous, and African. It's Champagne Mystery and the Mask Off at the Gallery. These are the main highlights of the event that happened on episode two of season two of Young, Famous, and African. Let's start it off with Swanky and Nadia. So they met up today and he was expressing how frustrated he was with Nadia for walking out at the party. Pretty much saying that that was an embarrassment. Why would she walk out of the party that he organized? But Nadia had her own reasons. She was explaining to Swanky that she was not comfortable being around Bonang, you know, due to the issues that they had in the past. And Swanky was trying to get into details to find out Horena what exactly is this issues that you are talking about? And Nadia pretty much said that, you know, she is not ready to discuss what happened between her and Bonang, saying that it was really not a big deal. They should just drop it. And, um, you know, the better thing to do is just her to keep it a distance. Nadia also points the finger at him for not greeting any while he walked in. You know, he walked in at the party and he never said hi to any. And it's like, if you're going to blame me for walking away from Bona, why are you acting so-called towards the so-called your friend, Annie? And Swanky did say that he is open to having a face-off with Annie. And I was like, okay, you're ready to have a face-off? Like, this is, this, is, this is not about face-off. It's not a face-off. You are ready to have a mature conversation with this lady that used to be your friend. The lady that knows all your dad and you also knows her dad. And speaking of the dead, it looks like it's really a lot that Swanky knows about this couple, um, Atubaba and, uh, and Annie. And Annie, you will see as the episodes goes, she's trying to squash this because she does not want all this beef that they have to escalate to the point where, you know, some dirty-ish might be exposed, okay? On the next scene, we have an intervention. This is where Kanye is planning to have this kumbaya intervention that, um, you know, that, that, that she's planning to do to have everybody come together and have this ponderosa where they're going to be talking about these issues and squashing their beef. Good luck with that. We will see if that will actually happen. All right. So uh, on another scene, we've seen Diamond. Okay. Diamond is having this session with his boys and all of a sudden Fantana walks in. I'm like, so, well... On the first episode, I really thought that Fontana did not know who Diamond is. Fontana is actually a fan of Diamond. She did mention that she actually is a fan of Diamond and she knew Diamond way before, you know, I don't know. She likes uh, Diamond's work. And I was like, okay, so you guys, you, you actually like Diamond. You knew who Diamond was. You are a fan. So they were talking about, you know, the, the conversation was pretty much basic, flirting with each other. And it came to the point where they were actually talking about squirting and all of that. And I was like, okay, we don't want to see that at this point. You guys can just go upstairs and go do what you have to do, you know, and call it a day. All right. So it is what it is. If they, if you guys are going to get in the relationship and be together, let it be. You know, you guys are adults and all of that. We don't want to hear all of that. And Fantana looks like it's a millennial girl. She does not care about none of that. She's ready to get down to the good lows. All right. So on another scene, we have Nadia and Kanye. So Kanye meets up with Nadia. She brings out this news where she speculates that someone had reached out to her um about this tea okay apparently someone had reached out to kanye uh about two baba having kids out here okay it is speculated allegedly that two baba is expecting a sixth child from this random girl that uh we don't know okay we don't really have a, a good source of information about this i don't know if they play this as part of the storyline the fact that you know, you will see as the episode progresses, uh, Two Baba actually doesn't even discuss this with any of the, the cast members about this. Nadia is very surprised when she hears this. And also we found out that she tried to reach out to Annie about this and Annie was nowhere to be found. Apparently Annie had flew back to Nigeria. You know, according to what she was going to do there, we don't know. And of course, Swanky hears the news. Uh, and he reaches out to Annie with a, a voicemail. I don't know if you're trying to be messy or what. You know, you have not talked to this person for 
you know what I'm saying, for ages. And all of a sudden, when you hear about this, you try to reach out to her. I don't know if um, or you just like being genuinely um, concerned about her her well-being or about the whole situation that is going on right now. But on another scene, Louis, Kanye, and Nadia, uh, Louis walks in and gets introduced to Nadia by uh, Kanye. She's trying to recall Hogana, okay, um, Monikai, like when, wh where did they met and all of that. And then uh, Louis is explaining that, actually, I had met you, you went to Namibia to shoot the music video, and I was there. I was actually sitting next to you. And then Nadia was like, oh, yes, I remember. We had a snake, blah, 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 blah. And then she brings this conversation up. And then he's like, oh, yeah. So she says that, okay, so you were an extra. And the guy is like, uh, well, I don't know about being an extra. I will never be an extra. I'm always a character. Well, he did not say that to her face. But he pretty much said that, you know, he wasn't an extra. He was actually supposed to be one of the leaders in the music video. But... He was actually supposed to organize the music video, but he ended up being in the music video as an extra, of course. All right. So, um, Kanye now invites him to this uh, night of the champagne that she is organizing. And, of course, he accepts the invitation. On another scene, we see Diamond and Andele. Uh, they decided to come together to squash the beef. We were happy to see that they finally squashed the beef. And Andele is trying to move on he actually told him that he will no longer be pursuing zari and they hugged it out and it was all good stuff all right fantana and swanky they meet up and pretty much fantana is saying that she's getting a, a bad impression from these people he she notices that everybody hates each other and then she also tells swanky that uh she had a little situation going on with Diamond and Swanky is warning her that, listen, you don't play around Diamond like that. Diamond is not the person that you think uh, he is. So you have to be really, really careful about this, okay? Uh, on another scene, uh, Annie is back from Nigeria. She is actually going to be going to the party that uh, she got invited by Kanye. Well, the mask off party, that is where everything goes on. Prior to that, Kanye meet with uh, Louis, basically coaching him on the grand entrance, what she wants him to do when he got to the party, rehearsing the intro to this mask off party. Zari and Dile, you know, they come in, give hugs. They're calling each other, say, and met them. And now Zari realizes that Dandile is actually trying to friend zone her. And just like, well, it is what it is. Now, this is not going to work. The gentleman right here is trying to bring zone me, so that's not going to work, okay? They really did not show a lot of what happened at this party. They will continue this on episode three, of course. But Kanye finally apologizes to Diamonds for leaving Ellie at the party. Diamonds was cool about that, apology and all of that. And Kanye also confronts Annie for leaving without saying a word. But, you know, but Annie, you know, Annie... I, I realize that Annie is not the person that likes confrontation. She always tries to squash it. She doesn't want... I feel like she likes leaving things under the rug and she does not want to discuss. She pretty much just squashed it down so quick. She told her, she just apologized and they left it there. You know, she did not want to talk about it. She said, listen, I'm so sorry. I don't tell you. But she really did not go into details of what actually happened, why she had to leave. But we all know that she went to Nigeria because she had to go you know, handle the PR work with this situation that's going on about two Baba having uh, the sixth child. I mean, she had to go uh, take care of that um, uh, ASAP. So, you know, but I felt like at the end, Kanye is still mad because she did call both of them, Swanky and Annie. You know, she was out of pocket for saying fuck you to them. And she also brought uh, Andile and... Um, and Diamond, too, I'm like, I don't understand. You just apologized to Diamond about the whole, you know, a living out party early. And then now you're going to sit here and call them out saying, fuck you, and all of that. Like, that was out of pocket for saying that. And Andele did not like that. I don't know if they will, you know, Andele always like to play devil's advocate. Both Andele and Kanye, actually, they like playing devil's advocate. But we will see if they will squash this beef after, you know, calling out each other with the F word and all of that. Pretty much that was it with this party. And uh, I'll see you guys with another episode, Ealing episode three. Um, 
just to kind of summarize and let you guys know what happened if you did not have time to watch it. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, follow on my Instagram at tmoney underscore b-a-g-g, tmoney underscore b-a-g-g, and also hit the bell here on YouTube. you get notified when I upload season two, episode three review. I will see you guys. I gotta go. Peace out.